Well, thank you, Veronique, for your introduction. Uh, in a first study, uh, we observed that after three weeks of cocaine self-administration, a form of synaptic plasticity that is a long-term depression mediated by NMDO receptors in the nucleus accumbens is impaired in all the animals. However, after two months of health administrations, the animals undergoing the transition to addiction still have an impairment on this uh, plasticity. But the animals that control their drug use and do not become addicts, they express, they recover the normal expressions of the LTD. This illustrates that the transition to addiction may be associated with the impairment to uh, recover from the initial effect of drugs on synaptic plasticity. Also, we found uh, that this impairment in, plas in synaptic plasticity might be directly related to the expression of addiction, since we observed a strong link between the severity of drug use and the, the disimpairment of long-term depression in the nucleus accumbens. In the recent paper in molecular psychiatry, we extended this study, assessing whether a similar phenomenon may occur in the prefrontal cortex. In fact, the, pre the prefrontal cortex is a region that is important for the executive control of actions, and it's believed that uh, Abnormal modifications in the prefrontal cortex may, may mediate the loss of control on drug intake. This time we study another form of long-term depression that is mediated by metabotropic glutamate receptors to 3. After prolonged, uh, after prolonged drug use, this LTD mediated by metabotropic glutamate receptors to 3 is uh, impaired in animals undergoing the transition to addiction, but is still normal in non-addict animals. So, according to a hierarchical model, we propose that this abnormal synaptic plasticity in a high brain executive area may be a consequence of the impairment of uh, the recovery of synaptic plasticity in the nucleus accumbens, a region involved in the rewarding and motivational effect of drugs. We are now working at identifying the molecular mechanisms mediating this lack of counter adaptations to early drug induced effects in vulnerable animals. We believe that this will be a decisive step in understanding the mechanisms of this pathological process.